Well, good evening and welcome back to Faith, Family, Values, and Politics. I'm Gilbert Wilkerson, back with you tonight. And with my host again, Dr. Steve Parson. And, uh, you know, we, uh, backed by popular demand from our Facebook, uh, we have him back on tonight. Because, Steve, you pretty much stirred up a mess last week in uh, talking about <laughs> politics, didn't you? Well, good, welcome back to the All show. Right. God bless glad, you. Glad to be here. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got into this thing talking last night about um, finances. And um, we talked about a little bit about uh, the economy. Talked about talking about the economy. And you get some really good, um, how do I, what word do I want to say? You get some really good um, mindsetting changes on this thing with finances that I've never heard before. And um, it stirred up a lot of calls last night, and we had brought you back on the show to talk a little mo bit more about this economy. You know, we're having a difficulty in the economy with uh, the U.S. economy, people out of jobs and struggling. And um, we wanted to take a look at this thing from a, 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 a Christian godly perspective. And as you know, the church has been uh, talking about finances for years. But it doesn't seem like that we have progressed much uh, with um, finances in our personal lives. The church has grown rich, you know, but uh, the people who are out there giving their money has been struggling. So my question to you in this financial uh, days that we're struggling with in the U.S., what is the answer that you think and believe uh, regarding this difficult within the United States economy uh, that you want to talk to us about tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Gilbert, uh, I'm not an economist, okay, okay, <laughs> but I am a minister. Okay. I've been in spirit-filled ministry now for over 30, 30 some years. 38 years, right? 30 some years. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition to being a pastor, I'm a teacher. The Lord's anointed me to teach. Okay. See, so I can share some things from the scriptures. Okay. And what I've learned over these 30 some years from from the Bible. OK. OK. And um, I don't have all the answers okay. and I don't know it all. Right. Right. In fact, the longer I'm in, this, in the Lord, the more I find out how much I don't have. OK. You know, one right. of the things yeah. we teach our people mm -hmm. is to be open and be teachable. Yeah. You see. Right. And uh, so I'm not closed minded. And if anybody I've always told our congregation this right. uh, when you hear something. That's the word of God. Okay. Even if you've never heard it before, do like the Berean Christians did over in the book of Acts. Uh -huh. Christians from Berea. Okay. This is what they did. When they heard the word, mm -hmm. they received the word with all readiness of mind. But then they searched the scriptures mm -hmm. daily to see mm -hmm. if the things were so. So I want to tell you this, mm -hmm. that if I say something okay. and it can't be backed up by the scripture, okay then nobody should receive it. That's true. Okay. That's but true. if I do, in fact, share something out of the scriptures, mm -hmm. all I'm saying is to consider it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I personally believe that the answer for the economic mm -hmm. situation in our country right now mm -hmm. is entrepreneurship. Okay. Entrep what is entrepreneurship to you? Well, I guess we can start with um, the word mm -hmm. entrepreneur okay. from the dictionary. And in the dictionary, it says one who organizes okay. and manages mm -hmm. and assumes the risk of doing business. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. One who organizes, manages, and then assumes the risk of doing business. You know, Donald Trump, when asked that question, okay. what if he feels the answer? Mm -hmm. uh, or what does a person need to do to become wealthy and, and be rich or have money? He mm -hmm. said, be a business owner. Okay. <laughs> okay? Yes. You know, uh, uh, they say 99% of the wealth of the United States is controlled by 1% of the population. Wow. And what I've come to realize is that 1%, 80% of them, according to Forbes magazine, right. are business owners. Okay. They're people who own businesses. Mm. They, the other 20% can, uh, um, inherit it. Okay, stay, hold one second. From their wealth, from their now, family. Now, this is what mm -hmm. I, I, I get a sense of the people that's watching our station. They're saying, okay, here come another preacher with this message on finances. But I just want our <laughs> listeners just to listen, because uh, this is totally uh, different from anything that you ever heard before from any minister. And that's why I want you to, don't turn us off yet. <laughs> Go ahead, Steve, and, uh, and, and, and give up this entrepreneurship, because I haven't heard that uh, perspective, uh, uh, even from last week that you were talking. But continue on about this entrepreneurship, and, and what does the Bible say about it? Yeah, well, see, actually, uh, God created man in his own image mm -hmm. and in his own likeness. Isn't that right? That's right. what the scripture says. 
And one of the characteristics of God right. is this. If he needs something, he just go get it. Oh, yeah. See, mm -hmm. God's not dependent. Mm -hmm. See, so God w wanted to create mankind after his image, meaning what? With independence, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. dependent. Right. See, mm -hmm. and what I saw, biblically speaking, mm -hmm. when God first put the human being here, mm -hmm. is he blessed them, then he spoke to them, said, be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. And what that human being needed was food yeah. in order yeah. to live mm -hmm. and survive. But I noticed by revelation of the Holy Ghost, I say it like mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that he didn't give him any food. Uh -huh. yeah. And what the Spirit of God said to me was that I couldn't give him any food because okay. if I did, mm -hmm. I'd be in violation to my own principle. Okay, what's that principle? The principle is if a person doesn't work, Ooh. they shouldn't eat. Mm -hmm. See, so God said that if I had given that man food without him having to work for it, mm -hmm. then I'd be creating a a person on welfare. You know the expression. Yes, yeah. uh, you give a man a fish, you feed him for how long? Mm -hmm. a, day. a day. But if you can teach the man how to fish, mm -hmm. you, you can feed him for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So what I saw in the scriptures was the first thing that God did with the human being after mm -hmm. he created him mm -hmm. was he put him in the garden. See, he, the Bible says the first thing he gave the man okay. was seed. You right. look in Genesis, you'll see that he gave him herb bearing seed. Okay. See, seed, I looked it up in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. The definition of seed is, certainly it's a particle, but it's the source of development and growth. Okay. Okay. So what God did was he gave the man the ability mm -hmm. to get his own food. Mm -hmm. But he had to work. He had to till the ground. God gave him seed. He put him in the garden. He planted, he tilled the ground first, and then he planted that seed into the ground for the purpose of growing his own food. Wow. See? Wow. So what I'm saying is, um, is that there's what's called independence mm -hmm. and you see an entrepreneur is a person who starts okay. his own mm -hmm. united states mm -hmm. is an entrepreneur country that's meaning right, that's right it's a self-starter mm -hmm. it uh, was july 4th we celebrate independence day don't we right independence day mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. so uh, i believe in independence rather than dependence right right and as long as we need somebody to give us a job, right, right. we're dependent. Yeah. You talked about principle before, too. You says God, God's principle would go violate his own principle. And one thing God does not do is violate his own principle. And that's good. Now, um, this welfare system that we kind of got our mindset wrapped around this dependency on government and, and somebody's always taking care of us, but mainly the government, uh, you, you're saying that we as a church or Christians need to get out under that uh, kind of cloak of always being dependent, but be entrepreneurs, uh, have change our mind setting whereby we can be uh, independent but not dependent. Right. Wow. Well, I'll continue on in, um, in yeah. that thought. Well, remember last week what I said was, <clears throat> see, black Americans mm -hmm. are a product of uh, slavery. Okay. And see, one of the things I found out, and I got this from the book, mm -hmm. The Miseducation of the Negro, okay. which was written by the father of African-American history, mm -hmm. uh, Carter G. Woodson, who happens to be from Virginia. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. He, he wrote the book, The Miseducation of the Negro. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in his book, along with Ethnic America, he mentions this, that during the Emancipation and Proclamation, mm -hmm. the slave owners mm -hmm. used to get with other slave owners, yeah. and they used to teach each other this. Teach the Negro how to work, okay. but never let him uh, learn how to take care of himself. Okay. Keep him dependent mm -hmm. on us for a job, okay. and then we never have to be concerned about him running away. We don't mm -hmm. need fences, mm -hmm. don't need chains on him, because he doesn't know how to take care of himself right. without us giving him a job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that mentality, which I feel as though is a curse, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a generational right. Right. curse, this is what has resulted in today. The black American, we only have two to three percent of us, Gilbert, mm. that are self-employed or business owners. Okay. Two percent. Wow. And uh, that's the lowest of any ethnic race wow. in the United States. And by the way, mm -hmm. we're the poorest. Wow. Okay. We're the poorest. The Latin community has just passed, passed the black community. Mm. Now, why is that? Mm. Well, you, <laughs> you, we're wage earners. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. you can't make as much money on a job normally right. than you can in a business. Okay, Remember, 80% right. uh, uh, 
of the top millionaires in the country are business owners. Right. Right. So That's see, true. we have the fewest of, of, of us of any ethnic race mm -hmm. that are business owners. Well, let me ask you this question. Let's think about something. Um, uh, there's some people who say, well, why should I work if I'm getting a welfare check every month? I mean, some people are dependent on that and saying, I'm okay, everything's okay. As long as I'm getting the check, uh, I'm going to be all right, I'm going to be taken care of. But what does that do kind of you think of in the mindset of people, um, uh, mm -hmm. that dependency spirit all the time? Yeah. And <clears throat> generation to generation. Well, this is what we need to as a people is we need to come to a point to where we don't have a job mentality. Okay. You understand? Right. See, actually, I'm seeing in biblical times, basically, the only people who had jobs, right. and put it this way, because see, actually, you look up the word job in the dictionary, mm -hmm. it does not mean place of employment. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. There's only one out, out of eight different definitions. It was just the last one that said place of employment. Right. But basically, the word job means work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work mm -hmm. <laughs> means generate, mm -hmm. do something right. to generate a living. Right. But our thinking is job means place of employment. Okay. And it doesn't necessarily okay. mean that. Right. Same thing with work. Mm -hmm. Man, I got to find work. They, what they're saying is I got to find a place of employment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When actually uh, work means a purposeful activity like business. It means putting forth effort. If you look up in the dictionary, the definition of work, mm -hmm. it doesn't even mention place of employment. It mentions wow. something that we do right. to generate our income. Mm -hmm. You know, I got one question, right. but then we're going to take some calls. Mm -hmm. uh, my producer's going to put the number up there, and once I ask Steve this question, we're going to take a few calls. 